Hi everyone, this is Sharan here. Welcome to my channel. Today in this video, we are going to see about preparing for the data science interview. It doesn't matter if you are a fresher or if you have some experience in data science, every one of us have some level of anxiety just before the interview. So in this video, I'm going to explain about some of the tips, steps that you need to take in order to prepare for the data science interview. So this is not about the day before your interview. This is more about like the journey that you need to take once you decide that you are ready for a data science job. Like what are all the various tips and tips that are required in order to be successful in your data science job. So let's get started and then see what are all the various steps that will ensure your success in your data science interview. The first step towards preparing for a data science interview is to have a really good resume. Whatever be the job application, like the, the first thing that you do is you send out your resume. You need to ensure that your resume exactly reflects your experience and your skill set. It shouldn't understate or it shouldn't overstate. There are some real good tips for preparing and really a good resume. There are a number of platforms now available which has very interesting templates, a lot of good templates. For example, FlowCV, which is completely free. Resume.io, like it's really good. I use resume.io and it, it is a paid platform, but it's still like a, they have a number of really good resume templates. Few things that you need to ensure or you need to ensure that uh, you follow a consistent format. Whenever there is a large number of uh, text uh, involved, you need to make sure that you break it down into bullet points. By that way, it is easy for the interviewer to read the points and understand like what you are like uh, trying to explain in your resume. The other important thing is you need to ensure that uh, you, you have like a highly impactful statements. You can make use of uh, Doodle's XYZ formula, which explains about uh, coming up with really impactful statements in your resume. So if you are interested to know about like what is Doodle's XYZ formula, I will attach a link in the description. Uh, you can go through the article to exactly know about what is Doodle's XYZ formula, like how to create an highly impactful resume. And, uh, and so this is the first step. You need to ensure that your resume is really good and it really reflects like your experience and your skill set. The second step is having a really good portfolio for yourself. So after sending the resume, like what happens is the recruiter goes through your profile and they will be interested to see about like your portfolio, like what is the uh, various projects that you have worked on, like what is available online? Is there anything on your repository? Do you have any website like where you talk about uh, your experience? Do you write any blog or is there any content online uh, that has been created by you or produced by you that can talk about your skill set as well as your experience? So it is important to have a personal portfolio. Like creating a portfolio is quite simple. For example, let's say you want to work on some interesting project. Like Kaggle has a large amount of data set. If you, don't, if you are not interested in Kaggle data sets, what you can do is you can simply like go for uh, any government websites so like where they share a lot of data to the public. Also, you can maybe scrape your own data, like whatever you are interested in and come up with your own project. In a lot of uh, IT fields, like for a fresher, it is not required to have much experience. Like they get to join, like they look for right attitude and then they get to train you on the job. But data science is not one of them. It's because the like, data science team is generally very small. And uh, like from the day one, you start to work on various uh, problems, various issues that uh, the customers are facing or the various business teams are facing. And hence, like uh, what is required is you need to know how to solve the problems. You need to understand the domain. You need to have some understanding about the domain. You need to have some understanding about problem solving. So it is very important to have a portfolio because if you have a portfolio, it gives enough confidence for the recruiter and hence they would be like much more interested uh, to choose people having a uh, personal portfolio uh, for the uh, the next rounds of interviews or the uh, the whatever be the recruitment process the third step is preparing for an uh, coding test a lot of companies have a technical round in some companies they ask various technical questions in some companies what they do is they send out an assignment or a scenario based question you need to work on it and solve it and then get back to them uh, that helps them to understand like uh, how much is easier problem solving skills some companies what they do is they give uh, you some kind of an coding test to check your programming skills for example how good are you in python r or maybe sql 
So in order to prepare for this kind of a technical round, what you need to do is there are a few platforms which is really helpful. Hatterand charge the recruiters for uh, like uh, using their service, but for a developer, it is completely free to use. They have various programs like it is generally useful for a developer like a mobile app developer or a software developer but they do have some kind of uh, like, uh, courses which are really good to test your skills in python r and sql so i would strongly recommend if you are looking uh, like to prepare for a technical round which involves programming so maybe hacker is one of the platforms definitely you need to try in order to test your skills in python r and sql Apart from this, there are few other interesting platforms which offers like a good programming process that helps to improve your programming skills. For example, like Data Camp and Code Academy are excellent platforms which can be very useful in order to learn programming like a Python or R. They do have courses on SQL but not quite extensive. But if you are new to SQL, definitely you can make use of their platform in order to improve your SQL skills. If you are more interested in uh, like uh, solving scenario based SQL uh, problems, so then learn SQL and mode or Excellent platform where they have a number of scenario based questions and they have an interactive platform using which you can write your SQL queries and test your skills. So all these are really important for you to ensure that you are able to test your programming skills prior to any technical round. In order to prepare for scenario based equation, for example, some companies, what, what happens is they provide you a subset of data and then they, they ask you to work on those data and come back, come back with an insights. Or they ask you to uh, like, uh, maybe build a model on a sample data set which they have provided. So in those scenarios, you need to understand like, how to approach those problems. So in order to prepare for that, what you need to do is you need to like, maybe work on various title competition that gives you a good idea about what are all the different kinds of problems and how to approach each of those problems in the best way. So these are some of the uh, options that are very helpful for you to prepare for the technical round, which involves like usually programming, like uh, uh, either it could be online programming test or it could be a takeaway assignment, which you need to work and then get back to the uh, recruiter. The fourth step is preparing the basic concepts. So it doesn't matter like what experience you have, what are all the various courses that you have completed. It is really important for you to know the basic concepts in data science. You need to understand like various concepts, like what is supervised to learn and what is unsupervised to learn and what are all the various algorithms in supervised to learn and what is a linear regression, what is logistic regression, what is a random forest, how it is different from a boosting based algorithm, what are all the various benefits and disadvantages of maybe using random forest. In what kind of scenarios you should use, what kind of algorithm? What are all the various feature engineering techniques? Like what kind of transformation do you do on the data? So you need to understand about all these basic concepts. You need not have any in-depth knowledge like if you are new to data science, but you need to understand that there are some various techniques for each one of these and you need to have some level of knowledge maybe theoretical knowledge or the knowledge based on like working on a hobby project that will be really helpful and in order to prepare for these uh, 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 questions what you can do is I will provide a link to uh, two articles which has like a lot of popular data science interview questions, especially about like uh, the technical uh, concepts as well as algorithms that are commonly asked in data science interviews that will be really helpful for you to prepare for your interview. The fifth step is before your interview, it will be really good if you have a profile snapshot. So I call it as a profile sh snapshot because like uh, while preparing for the interview, there are generally a lot of things we try to retell it. We want to talk about some of the uh, uh, very interesting things that we have worked in the past, some interesting projects that maybe you have worked in the recent times. And many times what happens is due to the anxiety like uh, during the interview, it is very common for all of us to uh, like, forget about some interesting things that we want to talk about. So what I would recommend is you maybe simply use an uh, Excel file and then create like uh, some documentation about the various projects that you have worked on. What are all the various techniques that you have used in all those projects? Like, uh, what are all the various algorithms? Why did you choose those algorithms? What was the reasoning behind the behind choosing that algorithm? What are all the various steps that you do in order to like implement that particular problem? 
a lot of these technical details what happens is over time you tend to lose uh, the memory about it like the reasoning about like choosing a particular algorithm and hence what happens is it might not be really good so if you don't clearly understand or if you don't clearly remember what are all the various things that you have done or what are the various things that led you to a particular solution and hence by creating a profile snapshot what happens is it stays there in the snapshot so you can maybe like uh, work for a company like maybe for two years or three years and then when you again start looking for a job it will be very useful if you have a profile snapshot about various projects that you have worked what were the significant contributions on those projects so all these profile snapshot can be uh, uh, compared to like to maybe uh, your preparation for your promotion internally so when you want to be promoted internally in your company so what do you do when, when you have a conversation with your manager you talk about the various projects that you have worked on you talk about the various contributions and you ask like these are all the various reasons and hence you need to be promoted so similar to that what you need to do is you need to prepare for all these things like in a simple excel which will be very useful for you to like read and recall it just before your interview and you you get to remember all the important things that you have worked in the uh, last few years so maybe for people who are just starting their career in data science this might this might not be like a quite trivial because like you would have worked on quite few projects and it would be easy for you to remember those but as you progress in your career what tend to happen is like the things that were quite interesting that you get to forget about those things like if you have a clear documentation about like what were the various projects that you have worked on that it becomes very helpful build a conversation in your interview the sixth step is that just before your interview you need to prepare for the first two to five minutes of your interview pretty much most of the interviews let the interviewer do not have an structured plan for the interview they would be open minded and it's mostly the first 2 to 5 minutes like the introduction that you made it tend to drive the interview conversation towards a particular direction and hence it is really really important for you to prepare for the first 2 minutes of your interview which is like the introduction so no matter what the interview is the first question would be to explain about your skills and your profile maybe in 2 minutes and preparing for this particular question is really really important 100% all interviews this will be the first situation that will be put forward to you and hence you need to spend enough time to make sure that you come up with a really good introduction so where you talk about like what are you currently doing what were your past experience and what is your future plan a really good introduction will be very helpful for you to create a huge first impact on the interviewer and hence like to make sure that you spend enough time to prepare for this particular first 2 minutes of your introduction the final step in preparing for a data science interview is uh, like reading about the company uh, getting to know what they are trying to do and uh, trying to achieve in the market the various uh, sources that you can make use of the number one is their website try to read about like uh, what they are doing and going through their technical blogs if they have also going through various uh, social media platforms such as uh, twitter as well as linkedin which talks about the, this particular company that helps a lot in order to understand what they are doing and what they are trying to achieve like what is their strategy focused on this also help uh, like this will also be very helpful in order to ask any question if you are given an opportunity to ask any question about them and uh, if you asked a, a right question which is based on something that recently happened which was available in maybe news media that will be really helpful it will like it will clearly tell them that you have prepared a lot for this particular interview you have done your groundwork for preparing uh, for this particular interview that will be a good impression on you uh, while you take up an in data science interview with any company so finally some of the tips that would be really helpful for you to prepare for your data science interview are like in your resume never include anything that you are not sure about in any of your project maybe if you are not clear about a particular concept try to remove those projects from your resume it is not good if you say you don't remember or you are not able to recall a particular thing that you have mentioned in your resume the second tip is after every single interview in order to make sure that you take away learning from those interviews you write down a bullet points of things that went well 
and the things that uh, could have been better right what are all the various questions that you could have responded better what could be your response like if you have been given a certain chance this is very helpful because that like, it ensures that you are taking away some kind of a learning after every single interview so that helps a lot in order to prepare for like in order to prepare for the next job interview or to perform better in your next job interview the final tip i would say is uh, like before the interview go through like the various feedback that are available in the glass door like uh, go through various uh, interview process of other people which they have shared on maybe a uh, glass door that helps a lot in order to make your preparation as well that helps a lot to understand what are all the various steps that would be involved how you need to prepare uh, for each and every step in the recruitment process so these are all the various uh, steps as well as tips i would say uh, for you to prepare for your data science interview i hope you would have learned something new in this video if you are interested in similar data science related content please make sure that you click the like button and subscribe to my channel apart from talking about data science topic i also have a series where i teach data science and there is an uh, crowd sourced data science learning program which i have recently launched on this chart there are more than 450 people now joined uh, this particular program of the first cohort if you are interested in learning data science from scratch please make sure that you join uh, this particular uh, uh, program if you are watching this video and it has been too late for you to join the program don't worry about it like uh, make sure that you subscribe to my newsletter when i launch the second cohort i will be sending out the emails to everyone on my newsletter